What's going on everyone? Today we're doing something a little bit different. We're doing a basic repair. I'm going to be submitting this project on element14.com forward slash project14. Today we're doing a basic repair because that's what the monthly theme is for this month. So I figured, you know what, I'm going to partake in it. So what do we have today? We have the MotorMaster Eliminator 1400 Peak Battery Amps with 700 Cranking Amps Booster Pack. And it has an air compressor. This is a great unit. I love this unit, but the air compressor part is broken. So today we're going to try to repair that. I was trying to think of what I could do for this project and a lot of things came to mind but I really like this unit and I needed to get it fixed just because I like to have a working unit. I was going to do projects with uh, video game systems and just random electronics and things like that but I wanted to do a different approach to this one and do something that I had lying around that I've been meaning to get to and attempt to get it back to where it's working again. So with that being said, let's get to it. I'm just gonna give an example here of what happens here. We have the air compressor hose here. It does have the on off switch right here, which will turn it on or off. So for this test, I'm just gonna grab this adapter here and put it on just for testing purposes, just to prove to you that it is not working right at this moment. So if this is working, I should be able to blow this piece of paper. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold the blower into the paper to see if I can't blow it. Absolutely nothing there. Let's get it taken apart and see if we can't figure out what's going on, why I'm getting no air. So it looks like a bunch of Phillips screws. I know I can't take it apart from the front. So we're just gonna take this back portion off. Basically all I'm doing is I'm removing all the screws from just the one from the compressor part. I thought I'd probably have to take more of the casing off, but it looks like they have it separated pretty good here, so I shouldn't have to. But if I do, I'm okay with that too. does look like I'm going to have to remove the back cover as well so I'm going to go ahead and do that now that I have access here but
double check, make sure I got all the screws out. And that seems we're good. I'm just going to take a flathead screwdriver here. And I'm just going to go around and just try separating little bits and pieces here and there. What I'll do for now is I'll put the It looks like it is coming apart. Now remember this is a 20 pound unit so you have to kind of make it uh, do what you want. Oh and there we go. Let's open her up so we can have a gander in her. The main thing is I didn't have enough slack to pull the uh, air compressor off the back there. So I needed to find out how much room I actually had on the inside here uh, to be able to uh, pull those wires without damaging them. And from the looks of it, well, I could probably pop this guy right out. And we'll just leave that there. So there we go, there's inside the unit itself. This one has a massive battery in it compared to what my previous one had in it. This one's at least double the size. Now that I have this open, I can see that I do have a lot of room to be able to play. But, I wasn't 100% sure how far I could get that wire out. So that being said, now I can put this back together now that I know I'm not going to damage it. Okay, so there's a lot less here than I thought there would be. I thought there would be a lot more, but there isn't. So there's got to be something going down in this guy here. So we're going to pull that out. I have a little look-see. So to get this guy out, we're going to have to take out this as well, because this is actually connected on the inside here, which I'll show you after. So for now, we're just going to pop out the screws. There'll be four screws holding it in. I have a feeling there's a rubber gasket or something random inside here. <laughs> 